I'm a creep. But the butter was better, so she bought a bit of better butter. Now we're getting there! Not today. Monday, October 26th. No, we're not going anywhere. It's a red day. And what do we do on red days? Don't trade. That's exactly what I keep telling you guys. But sometimes there's uh, some opportunity arising and you want to jump in because you think you're smarter than the market. You think you know the market. Yeah, think again. Uh, I've made a good deal first. Uh, not a good deal. Barrick Gold, uh, because when the market, usually when the Dow Jones goes down, uh, gold will go up and the opposite way. So uh, not all the time, but uh, most of the time. Uh, today, <laughs> I was making money with a bear gold, $216 and say, okay, sell it, jump on GM. The market is at least 400 point down. It's not going to go uh, further than that. It went and I've lost 500 bucks with uh, GM. So that made 300 bucks uh, loss. I ran after it. Okay. It's my fault. I should not have trade a second time. Uh, but let's look at the market, what it is doing, and why did I make those moves? Those move. um, why did I make those moves? As we speak now, the market is 800 points down. So it's really goes. It's not going in the right direction. So it's time to just close. Close it and um, wait until tomorrow 816 points it's a lot biggest drop since september and it's funny because we're october 26 the big crash uh in 29 uh 1929 was october 24th uh the around those dates uh the big crash uh for um in 2000 and, and 1997 87 around the same date 2008 around the same date and today we're going down uh and it's not over uh my guess is as good as yours as yours but as we speak i think we can go down as like, someone around four to five percent uh today i still think that the only potential for the afternoon if there's some potential might be uh, canopy it seems that after crossing that line uh, it went down but as you can see now it's steam to be stabilizing so uh, we don't know but it's not the right time to touch anything right now it's just let it go south and wait so my first deal deal of the day Gold, I bought it at 9.37, sold it at 9.52, $216. And I should have had stopped right away because I've decided to buy GM at uh, 36.10 at 10 o'clock, sold it an hour and 15 minutes after uh, with a loss of 500 bucks. Uh, that was pure stupidity uh, on, on my part. So. Let's look why I've decided to make the move on gold. And the gold right now is pretty stable, but this morning it started really quick. So at 9.37, uh, why did I bought it? All the candles and look at the volume here. So the candles were going up. And even though I was above, I knew people would jump into gold because it's always, uh, it's always the same thing. People jump in gold. Uh, right away when the market goes down so I just got in here and I sold right here boom right away my goal was just to make a quick hit I didn't want to wait until the RSI starts to come back uh, below the 70 line I just wanted to make some money and say you know what that would be my deal of the day but stupid as I was and I thought I was smart 
I got in at 10. Why? Don't ask me. I just thought of the market uh, had enough of collapsing. So I just got in here and I bought at 36 something, uh, 13 uh, or 10, 36, 10 right here. And I've sold it. I should have, as soon as those line crosses, take your loss and run. I've decided, even though I keep teach you, teaching you uh, this, I was just expecting maybe we would just touch it and go back up. It did not. So at 11, 13 right here, I've decided to sell uh, with a loss of uh, 37, 35, 73, a loss of 510 dollars for a total loss of, including commission, 334 uh, dollar. It happens. Okay, I should not. I should have. I'd stop right here. I've decided to push my luck, and I paid not a big price, but I paid a price. Uh, I look at it right now. I sold it at 35, 73. It's 35, uh, 34, and the market is still going down. Uh, canopy is pretty interesting, uh, but there's no signal uh, showing it. And the problem with Canopy right now, look at the RSI, okay? The 50, you, the, the RSI would move between 30 and 70. So what's important as well is to look at the support of 50. Do we have a support at 50? And we don't. We just passed 50 and came back right away. So in fact, it seems that the support is on is 50 uh, on the low side. So, uh, but it will come back. It will come back. Will it be today? You never know. But since Biden might still have a chance and all the cannabis and marijuana stock uh, will be pressure, I would be willing for swing trade uh, this canopy uh, maybe for a week. And wait for a week. I think it has pretty good, uh, good potential, uh, two three dollars for the next week. An expectation that Biden would get in. Snap, Snap is making a nice comeback. Of course, Snap is on a nice run, and uh, you see this. This is big potential. Even though it's uh, it it passes the RSI, uh, it just crosses the MACD right here and it may have a pretty big potential if the markets uh, come down a little bit, but it doesn't seem that it is the case, but I, I love Snapchat. I own it in my TFSA. So guys, this afternoon, just keep looking for bargain. Let's see when the market would come back, if it is, otherwise just don't try anything. It's not the right day to try to beat the market, to be smart enough, uh, smarter than the market. I tried with GM and I cut my losses and that's it. it it's part of the deal to, to have some um, days that you'll be losing. And the thing is, I know that I should not have traded today. I did and I paid a price. Have a good one.